Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. You're driving down the road and you step on the gas, and the tack goes real high, but it doesn't accelerate very fast. That means that your clutch is slipping and it's time for a new one. Assuming you're driving a standard transmission car, of course. Because if you've got an automatic and it does that, that means your transmission is breaking down and that's bad news. So today I'm going to show how to put a clutch in your car. Now the first thing you want to do is jack the car up in the air and put it on jack stands. Then take off the wheels and remove the drive shafts. Take all the bolts off and move it out of the way. There's a drive shaft. But before you take the drive shaft off, remove the drain bolt and get the fluid out of the transmission and drain it in the pan so it doesn't get all over the place. Then get a pry bar and go back to the inside of the CV shaft and break it off. Then the drive shaft just pulls out of the way. And of course, remove the drive shaft on the other side because you have to get both drive shafts off to get the transmission out to put the clutch in. Then you have to remove the clutch slave cylinder, take off the bolts and move it out of the way. And now we have to unbolt all the bolts that hold the transmission to the engine, including the starter bolts, and get that out of the way. Just take them all off. Then take off the transmission mount. Then you get a large pry bar and pry the transmission off. Uh, then have a jack ready on the bottom of the transmission and jack it up a little so when you pull it, the transmission will sit on the jack. And there's the clutch plate inside the transmission. We're going to unbolt these bolts and take it off. You just take the six bolts off and then pry the plate off. Then pull the clutch pieces out. And here's a mechanic's tip. When you're changing the clutch, buy a clutch kit. It has all the parts you need and the little alignment tool to get the clutch in right. Now before you put the clutch back on the transmission, get some of the grease from the kit and put it on the spline so it goes on smoothly. And there's the spline, we'll just put a little grease on it. Just put it on the spline and wipe it on so it goes on smoothly. Then put the clutch in on the engine and bolt it up. And don't forget to put the new throwout bearing in. It snaps on the end of the shaft going into the transmission. Then get the alignment tool and stick it into the clutch so that it'll slide in better. Stick it right in the clutch part so that it fits in snugly. Then tighten all the bolts on the clutch. <clears throat> and now comes the hard part. You gotta wiggle the transmission to fit it on. It can be a real pain. Just start pushing and shoving like mad until it fits on. Uh. Then tighten up all the bolts on the bell housing. And don't forget to put the axles back on or it won't go anywhere. And last but not least, don't forget to pump the gearbox oil back into the transmission. Pump it until it starts coming out of the hole you fill it up with. Then put on the wheels and take it for a spin. Now you know how to change a clutch in a car. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.